Yo enough Osprey women's basketball fans, welcome back to another edition of Talk Time with head coach Mary Tapmeyer. Coach, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Well, we just finished up a three-game homestand last Saturday, actually, with a great 66-63 win over JU, and this week we head on to the road. What was it just like being able to be on your home court for the last three games, being able to have the same routine over and over again? There's a familiarity being on your home floor, and we were home for almost two weeks, which really, there's a comfort factor. We had a week to prepare for JU, so we got to be, a, we were able to put a lot of things in. Um, got two out of three at home. We we're trying to get three out of three, but we had a little bit slip up against Mercer. Um, they played very well. We did not, but we regrouped, and, and we got the barrel point. So, you know, you're always going to be happy when you get a barrel point. Now, going along with that three-game homestand, you guys also had Kennesaw State there with a new head coach. and. A little bit of a different look with their team this year, it seemed like. Well, they're struggling with some injuries. They're down in numbers, but Nitra's got them playing really hard. Uh, Sumitri Gideon's a beast inside. Um, just, you know, they're learning a new system and a new style, but they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the future. They are really, you know, they're playing hard and they're playing for, and, you know, she's really got some good things happening at, at Kennesaw. Now, this weekend, we take it to the road. We visit ETSU, where apparently there's supposed to be some nasty weather up there in Johnson City this weekend, and then also USC Upstate. Now, this road trip is one of the longer ones that we have this season. ETSU is about eight hours up, a little bit over eight, actually, and then Upstate's maybe about six? Yes. It's, um, it's probably my least favorite trip just because eight hour bus ride, we go, we go up in a very nice bus, but you can only watch so many movies and get so much work done. But we're gonna leave early tomorrow, hopefully beat the weather into Johnson City. Uh, very difficult place to play. Luckily pulled a win over there last year in overtime. Um, and then we travel over the mountains to upstate. Um, Tammy George's kids play hard. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a critical two game road swing for us. Now, speaking about the ETSU game last year, Jake and Kerr, she went off for seven three pointers, which was a single game school record. And it was an exciting game to watch, especially seeing you guys pull it out in overtime at ETSU. It is actually the first time we've beaten ETSU at ETSU. Um, but Jake really, she was on fire, and our teammate, her teammates kept finding her, and it was really, it was a fun game. Now, Upstate, they have one of the smaller gyms in the conference, but they also are able to pack that in. And with your game on Monday night being on ESPN3, do you think the crowd is going to be a bit of a factor for you guys? I don't pay attention to it, but it can get pretty loud in that gym, um, so communication will be an issue, but we've been working on that in practice, you know, playing some music loud, making sure the girls are communicating, because we know what we're headed into. Both both facilities are difficult to play in, you know, ETSU is a big dome with a lot of open space, and Upstate is very compact, but very loud. So two really challenging uh, away sites to try and compete at. Well, Coach. We hope for the best for this weekend, and we will catch it in another couple of weeks. All right. Thanks, Colin.